I literally put one shade on my eye and I'm already so impressed. <laughs> Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you've never seen my face before, hi, hello, my name is Joanne and I'm really glad that you're here. Okay, today's video is very, 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 very exciting. Why I'm, okay, I need to chill, <sighs> chill. We got a Glam Light mystery box in the mail, yes. I was recently watching my friend Carrington here on YouTube. She did a Glam Light mystery box unboxing and I kind of lost my mind and just went for it. <laughs> I immediately searched for Glam Light on the internet, bought a mystery box, and here we are. So, yeah. <laughs> so if you're interested to see what's in this mystery box and watch me put it on my face, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into the video. Hey, uh, Glam Light did an amazing job wrapping this stuff. Like all of it is bubble wrapped really, really well. Honestly, I do not remember. Oh God. <sighs> what was in Carrington's mystery box. This is going to be a surprise. I don't even remember how much I paid for this. <laughs> I think I blacked out, honestly. It looks like there's a lot in here, so let's dig in. Okay, the very first thing I pulled out are the diner restaurant wipes, which is a cute idea, but also a little, I don't know, when I think diner, I think greasy. <laughs> Am I the only one? But these will be good to have right here in my makeup station because I'm always wiping off swatches or like cleaning up underneath my eyes. So these will be good. Okay, <laughs> I knew it, I knew this. Okay, the next thing I got is the S'mores Highlighter and Contour Palette. I'm going to leave this one completely wrapped up because if you saw my recent Tipsy Ipsy unboxing, I got this in my Ipsy bag this month. So I'm going to put this in a giveaway for you guys. We are very close to 300 subscribers. I know we can do it. That would be like a good Christmas gift for me. So tell your friends, okay? All right, chocolate candy bar, lashes. Oh no, I have to put lashes on today. They do so good with their packaging. Oh, they're pretty and wispy. Ooh, okay, I like that. Oh, I do not wear lashes, I do not wear lashes. The first big thing that I see just sitting here on top looks like a palette. Again, nicely bubble wrapped. They did amazing with their packaging. And it is the Street Taco Palette. A little wasteful. I mean, this came in plastic packaging plus the cardboard box, which I'm going to recycle. Another plastic package for some reason. I don't know, Glam Light. That seems a little wasteful, but okay. All right, Street Taco. Another plastic protector. And here is that color story. Hmm, okay. That's pretty cute. I don't think I would purchase this for myself because the colors seem a little chaotic to me in my mind, but I'm pretty sure I can come up with something really cute with this palette. So street taco, good. Okay, continuing on. Okay, another bubble wrap. And this is the Glam Donut palette. Okay, I only before this have owned two things from Glam Light. I ordered the Michaela Glam Light palette, which is massive and has every color you could ever need in it. And then also, like I just said, like last week in my Ipsy bag, I got that S'mores palette. And that's really all I've ever owned from them. So another kind of extreme <laughs> plastic and cardboard packaging. Okay. The palette is soft and squishy, like um, like an ottoman or something, you know, like that pleather look. It's just all seems so extreme. Okay, this is a beautiful blue, purple, pink, like rainbow palette. Okay, that is pretty stinking cute. I love that so much. Like, it smells like plastic. Like, it smells like furniture. <laughs> Like they, they are extreme on their packaging. I'll tell you that pretty extreme, but I think I could come up with something really cute with this one too. Okay. All right. It looks like the next thing is a possible lip item called caramel frappe. Okay. It's a lip gloss in caramel frappe. Ooh. Okay. Nice neutral shade. Very pretty. Smells of caramel. Yep, they did not disappoint. <laughs> so we're basically going to be able to do an entire look today. So, okay, caramel frappe. And I have something else in red velvet. This is a lipstick. 
I don't know how I feel about the food themed makeup. I don't know. I thought, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel a little weirded out by it, honestly. Okay, wow. And it's got a little mirror on it. That's kind of nice. This is red velvet cake. Smells sweet. Figured it would. Wow. That is beautiful. That is such a vibrant, like, blue undertone red shade. Very, very pretty. I like this one a lot. Okay, and that was everything that was in my Glam Light mystery box. So now that I know what we're working with today, let me do the rest of my makeup and we'll be right back to try on basically a full face. <laughs> okay, most of my face is done. I just have all the other stuff. I think I would like to just go ahead and finish up my face. So I'm going in with the Glam Light S'mores palette. Again, I've already dipped into this one. I recently just used it in a Tipsy Ipsy unbagging unboxing video. So I'm just gonna go back into this. My first reaction was that I thought it was a little dark for me, but I'm gonna attempt to just tap it out. I thought the highlighters were really pretty, except for, I thought, I don't know, maybe this one's a little too dark, this one's a little too light. I, I didn't I didn't really know what best to do with that so I liked it though I thought I came up with a pretty nice look when I used it and it wasn't too orangey on me but I did go in very very light-handed because I knew it was so dark so the bronzer is the called <laughs> bronzer is called chocolate I'm going in with marshmallow for my highlighter today I don't know if it's gonna be a mistake to do my face first before my eyes, like this could fall out everywhere, but I don't know, something inside me was just telling me to do my face first, so here I am. Going with my gut. Yeah, it's never led me wrong before. I'm gonna mix them. Graham cracker. That's super dark though. That might be good for the summertime. I don't know. It's it's pretty dark. But it is nice and wet looking. I like that a lot. That is the S'mores palette. It's nice. It's nice. I think it's a little gimmicky with the whole graham cracker thing. Like, I think this is honestly the only shade that they have. That's not dark or light enough for most everybody. I don't know. It's kind of fun, but it is definitely a little gimmicky. So that's the S'mores palette. Okay, I'm going in with eyes next. I don't know which one to use, so I don't know. I'm really leaning toward this one today. This one is really pretty, though. I like those greens, but I think I'm going to go with the Glam Donut palette today. Let me know if you want to see me come up with something with this one, but I'm just, this one's speaking to me. I can't help it. I got to go with my gut. I don't know. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to prime one eye and leave the other eye bare. I'm just kind of curious to see how these perform on which. So my right eye is going to be the primed eye. And that's just with my Milani eyeshadow primer. Ooh, I don't really have like any neutrally beige shades in either of these palettes. So I guess we're just going to go in like no choice today. We are going in. Okay. I'm going to start with a shade called Jelly. on the inner portion of my eye. This one's primed. Wow, that is vibrant. I'm gonna go in with icing, ha <laughs> icing on the middle portion. I'm doing simple today. I'm really, really not doing a whole lot today. So bear with me as I try to experiment. On the outer portion, so sweet. This beautiful purple shade. Very pretty. No patchiness on the outer corner, which is typically where I see my patchiness and like how it gets kind of annoying over there. <laughs> okay, and I kind of didn't plan this, but yeah, I have a sparkly shade for each of these. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with my finger with strawberry. 
on the inner part of my lid only. Okay, next, sprinkles blue. These shimmer shades are crazy. And lastly, grape. You guessed it, lid only. <sighs> Holy cow. Holy freaking cow. Holy cow. Okay. Okay, calm down. Everything's cool. Calm down. Everything's cool. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm obsessed. Can I always wear this eye look? I'm going with Frosty on the lower lash line. And glazed on the inner portion of my eye. Okay, now I'm gonna do this to the other eye. Okay, uh, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Quickly, let's do the uh, 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 eyelashes. I don't know. Eh. Do I do I do eyelashes? I'm so lazy. I really probably should have put these in a giveaway, but it's too late because I already peeled it off. So let's see here. Here is a good look at the eyes before I totally screw it up with the candy bar lashes. I'm obsessed. I think I'm gonna have to save the red lip for a different day. And I'm just going to go in with the Caramel Frappe lip gloss. Let's just keep it cool, okay? We're just chilling today. Nope, mm -mm, nope, 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 nope. Nope, it'll totally ruin the look. I'm not doing it. I'm not risking it. I'm not doing it. No, mm -mm, nope, 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 oh, nope. Sorry, makeup gods. This year is not my year for lashes, okay? Maybe next year, maybe maybe 2023. That sounds like a good year, but it's, it's not this one, okay? It's not this one. I can't do it. Caramel Frappe. This is like my perfect nude shade. I can't even tell I put anything on my lips. <laughs> I feel like I've escaped from the 70s in this look, but I'm living for it. Okay, and that is my completed look using almost everything in my Glam Light Mystery Box. I had so much fun with this video. Glam Lights formula. Holy cow, okay. <laughs> I'm so happy with every, almost everything I got in this box. I really shouldn't have opened those lashes. I feel terrible I wasted them. Maybe someday I'll put them on, probably not, but yeah. That is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you'd like to see more videos from me. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.